Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again. This time we're going to go as good old Roboto um, and see what's what. Uh, have we not played as Robot on the series yet? Because we have nothing unlocked for this man, which is surprising to me. Anyways, we're going to jump in and try and get some stuff unlocked, I guess. Um, and see Wagwan with this guy. Of course, we've got the gun nutrition. I tend not to really use his gun eating stuff unless I need HP. So we'll see when we need it. Um, mini bomb launcher seems fun. I'm, I I, I want to try and uh, work towards using some more of the explosive weapons. I mean, look at that. It's it's a bomb that fires a missile. I mean, how can you not love it? It's so dangerous. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, using boiling veins a little more to make those a little more um, interesting. Um, close dodges sometimes drop resources. Do you know what? That's actually potentially pretty useful. I don't know how like good the close dodges will end up being. Oh, wow, that missile just came straight for me. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Does it auto-target a nearby enemy? I think it does, you know. I think the, the, the second missile is homing. This, this is a really good first area weapon. I guess the reason it's um... the reason it's low tier is because it's so dangerous. But it's very good, like potentially at least. Um, oh, do we do we automatically eat leftover weapons anyways? That's kind of nice. Um, more rads, yeah. Let's take that. I think I think we auto eat when we um, go to the next stage. You know, I wonder if this thing would be improved with an accuracy increase. I wonder if that would do much to this. I do also realize that I just hit myself there. I'm gonna eat this to try and get some HP out of that. Thank you. I realize ammo wise, it's a little bit risky. Oh, that was really stupid of me. Walked right back into. I mean, these guys can be tricky, anyways. But, dude, that missile just like absolutely went for me. Then, oh, the bouncy boys. Okay, not the best. Not the best. I gotta say, I think maybe I've got to grab boiling vents first, rather than uh, trying to take an explosive weapon like that and using it after. I realise that's not what ultimately killed me, but I think the the carefulness I was having to employ to try and make sure I didn't die to it was ultimately what led to my death, so I'm going to blame it anyways. Assault pistol, we'll take. Um, Strong spirit early on seems good, we'll, uh, we'll eat that up as well. The fact that you get rads from uh, eating weapons as well is pretty nice. Can we slip through here? Yes, we can. I, I also really like um, Robot for the better weapon qualities earlier on. I think that's just like one of my favorite parts about playing this character. Bomb Lobber. Oh, that is... That's that's where I'm, where I'm liking it right there. Bomb Lobber. Oh, you can proper carve out. Carve out a bit of wall there. This seems, again, really strong for the quality it's at, but I'm guessing it's just due to the danger levels involved. But I like it. I mean, we can also go thingy here as well. Can you munch down on um, go, uh, on cursed weapons to remove them as, this, as uh, this character? I'm unsure, but that seems like a good way of being able to remove cursed weapons, doesn't it? The fact that it's like multi-bombs as well means we can potentially take out two or three enemies. A director shotgun seems fantastic. Fan at Dabby Dozy. So we'll see if that gets auto munched, shall we? We'll see if that gets auto munched. It did. It did. Okay, um. Hmm. I'm gonna take glass arm cannon as a as a bit of a gamble here. Okay. Didn't actually mean to kill that guy, but I'm glad he's dead. Honestly, director shotguns, so much fun. Right, just start to keep our distance here. I think I did leave some enemies back over there, so I could be a little wary here. Don't want them sneaking up behind me, but I think we've sort of left them in the dust. Also, I've got to remember, ooh, we've got an elite chest here. Bouncer shotgun, I will take over this. There it is. Yeah, so let's uh, let's just go straight down to pizza sewers, shall we? And we'll get rid of the bomb lobber for this screwdriver, I think. Here, scarier face. I still I need to know how good scarier face realistically actually is. Someone in the comments, let me know, because it doesn't seem that good. Uh, we'll munch this down. Grab the golden screwdriver. Now we can get in our car. 
Although, I have to say, we're gonna, we're gonna have to be careful because Bouncer Crossbow... Oh, th this stage is still bugs where all the enemies just spawn on the wall. Um, Bouncer Shotgun, sorry, is gonna destroy our car pretty quickly, so we kinda have to locate the car first. I do see it there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for some of these enemies to come over towards me. Just because I do not want to destroy the car. Okay, good. I think we're okay now. We're unlikely to destroy the car with our bouncer shots at this point. Bouncer shotgun's amazing though, my god. Okay, he's behind us. Okay, I've got to test something here. If I go and hit that, can I then eat this? Yes, you can indeed eat secret skin unlocked. You can indeed eat a thingy on there, that's good to know. And this is a good secondary weapon to grab here, and then we can get in the car. Oh, so the secret skin we've unlocked is actually applied right now. I wonder how many secret skins there is. I, I mean, I really do want... Uh, boiling veins could be good here. Um... Hmm. I really do want a list, like an actual detailed list. I know this is kind of cheating, but I really would like a list of how to unlock all the secret ults and uh, all the secret uh, ultimate mutes and all the secret skins and stuff. And like just a list of how to find them because I have no idea and I'm clearly not doing a very good job thus far at finding them. So it'd be nice to have a list so I can actually show them off on videos, you know? Golden Blood Rifle is a pretty good one. Pretty good one indeed to go for. Oh man. Just give me the health and let me get out of here. I'm liking the shotgun. My goodness, I'm liking it. Um... Yeah, Throne Butt just seems super useful when it's auto-eating. I swear, normally, the auto-eating only comes with your Ultra Mutes, doesn't it? We get This is like a new ability of this character to make him more enjoyable, I guess. Because, like I said, actually, eating weapons is slightly cumbersome, I think. So, it's nice to have it done automatically when this weapon's left behind. There's some interesting ways to play this with, like, weapons always dropping sort of thing. Like, no ammo drops, more weapon drops could uh, could make it interesting. I might try that as a crown if we uh, get it, which could could be dangerous because I could end up running out of ammo a lot, but... Do you know what would be nice? Uh, like, a nice addition to the game? Having, like, a, lo a really low damage, like, three damage swipe that you can use um, just if you have absolutely no ammo on any of your weapons. I realise if you have no ammo, it's, it's, it's realistically your fault, but it would be nice to have some sort of backup plan in place. Box gun is good stuff. I will take that over the shotgun, I think. Yes, indeed I will. Um, and flexible elbows. That could be interesting. I think I'll go with that. Oh, wait. Okay, I was like, why do we have a flamethrower? But that is the gun that we have. Mini flame cannon. This mini flame cannon is pretty good. I'm liking it. I thought it was a mini flak cannon or a mini flame flak cannon at first, but... It ain't. It's, it's pretty good, though. What we got here? Supercharge Burr. Hmm. What does armor does this use? Ugh. I think I'm into the box gun more, to be honest. I think I'm into the box gun a little more. Where are thou? This thing's amazing. Anything fire related in this game, I just love. Is that a radiation generator? Right, hold up a minute. Oh shit. It's kind of amazing. That's kind of amazing. I mean,. I should probably carry it with me, but I don't really need it that much. But it's probably a good idea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry it with me anyways. Because this, this thing's kind of carrying right now, so I'm not all that worried about this. And then I can just fire off some extra radiation when I want it until I'm max level, right? 
not a whole lot, but it's something. Okay. We're getting extra ammo from the slaps as well, which is kind of nice. Oh my god, there's so many spider bots here. This is cool, I like this. Frost bullet shotgun. Good, 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 up to level 8. I don't know how many extra rads it ended up securing as this floor, but seems like a decent amount. Where art thou? Get off me. There's still a few more of you. Ah, oh, that was a good shot, sir. Um, Boiling veins could be good here. I think I'm going to take impact risks, though. It's just so good on loop, and we're, we're getting closer and closer to loop here. That car is scaring me. I don't like the way it's moving. Okay, luckily we're able to deal with it. I just love fire weapons, the fact that you hit an enemy and there's a fa there's fire, like there's a fire trail behind even if you miss. They're just so forgiving and they, they, they normally have insane AoE, like all of them. They're really top tier in my opinion. Lovely. Auto Spear Launcher. Also seems pretty good. Uh, yeah, we'll take it at this point. We're, we're at max level, almost. Auto spear launcher seems good. Okay, let's let's go through here. And I just want to see uh, if I go. Yeah, let's 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 grab let's grab eagle eyes here. If I go over to my actual crown over here, I swear there's a crown for more weapon drops, no ammo drops. Um, no ammo drops, more weapon drops. I'm gonna try this, which is a bit risky for ammo, but basically my herb is that I get a ton of weapons and then I can just gobble them all up at the end of the stage to refresh my ammo. Yeah, lovely, he's gone. So far, not so good. I'm not seeing any weapons dropped thus far. So... Not all that great so far. That is, this is mini flame cannon. This is flame cannon. I think I'll upgrade to actual flame cannon here. Seems good. Seems good to me. Ooh, I forgot about cheese area. This thing fucking this 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 spear launch is amazing, man. It does so much damage. So much damage on this bad boy. Okay, there's quite a lot of weapons here this time. Super Bouncer, Super Bouncer Flak Cannon. That could be quite good. That could be quite good. I think I'll take that. Right, where's our last geezer over here? Nice. And we should eat a bunch. Hey, here's our Ultra. Um, holding only one weapon will increase damage, dealt at any time, 20%, return 10% ammo upon firing, and 15% reload speed and plus 4 max HP. That's very good. 15% um, weapon drop weight, eating a weapon has a 30% chance to drop chests. Eating a weapon drops it like a turret, the turret fires the eaten weapon. You can carry three weapons, eating weapons does not consume them, instead sends them to the next area. And we've also got... Replace active with force shot. You can acti um, active fire your weapon at the cost of rads instead of ammo. Kind of interesting. Um, I think I'm going to go with this. And then we just eat a bunch of weapons. Please stay away from me. Okay, I've run out of ammo on this thing. Wait, it takes more than 30 ammo to fire that thing? God damn, okay. Mistakes were made on that decision. So 
So that said it was turned into a turret. We did get a chest there. Oh wait, no, it is firing, I see. I don't know where from exactly. I'm probably dead here. There's a, a laser beam coming from above me. Is that new? Okay, I survived somehow. I'd like that HP, please. Thank you. Damn it, game. <laughs> I was having fun there. Okay, I kind of like the idea of this guy. I just want to quickly go back to the menu and check if I've unlocked that skin permanently. Um, where are you, robot? So, we've now got a golden weapon, at least, too. Um, and we have unlocked that as a permanent skin. Nice. Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to see if there's... Um, eat an ultra weapon. Okay. Eat a hyper weapon, even eat an ultra weapon. I would like to see if there's... Um, some various different things we can do with these different skins. Because th there's just so many secrets that I, I am not kidding. I will never find. <laughs> and I, I, I want I want to show them off because people want to see them. But also the developers put work into them. I don't want them to go completely under the radar. I would like to showcase them. And I just have no idea how to do any of them. Like there's hints for some of the ultra uh, secret ultra mutations. I don't know how to do them. <laughs> I don't goddamn know. Um, we'll take power craving early on here. I'm using the blood weapon to try and uh, reduce the amount of damage I take. Good. good. Nice. Yeah, if I can destroy shots, then we're in a good spot. Obviously, it doesn't destroy those. It just stops them in in, uh, in place, but that's still good enough for me. Uh, I'm going to take this again. I think the slapping resources is pretty useful. A bit less re useful when you've got no ability to gain ammo. <laughs> also, it, it does damage as well, which is kind of nice. Got the bomb lobber again here. Heal up with that. Give you the slap. Lots of ammo. Lovely. Delete that as well. I'm just going to eat everything at the moment. That that was a good ultra, though. I kind of liked it. I didn't really get to fully utilize it, which is a shame. Um, I'm going to go back muscles. I don't take back muscles enough. And I feel like it's it's pretty goddamn amazing. I'm a little bit worried here with our uh, amount of ammo that we currently have. I have a feeling we're going to run into some issues. Especially when it gives me shotgun shells. That's really not of any use to anyone, is it? Nah, I knew we were going to cause run into some issues here. I can't even eat this weapon, so we just got to hope for the best. <laughs> hope for the best, yeah. When we're taking double damage, there's just not much you can do there. Unfortunately, this weapon ain't so hot early on. Um... Hmm. I still want to go with this as a starting thing. I think it's good when you don't take that much damage instantly. Honestly, this isn't a very good starting weapon. It just is way too ammo hungry. We need to have a, a secondary at all times here. Otherwise, we're going to run into some serious issues. We can't be relying on that thing and that thing alone. Sadly, as it is. Uh, fists again here. Bow. I'm also still wondering like how valuable the new scarier face is. I don't know how good it is, but I want to try and make use of it. Inversion magnet could be fun. I can uh, gulp this down. Micro shotgun. Ooh, micro shotgun seems fun. Sorry, inversion magnet. <laughs> I liked you for a hot minute, but I have found a new. A new toy. I like the micro weapons. They're cool. They seem really good. Um, power craving again. I'd like to get some weapon mods going. Yeah, it seems amazing. This kind of too good to be the quality it is. Good. Let's take care of all of those. Easy. 
Grenade, revolver, no thank you. Oh, I didn't see that shot there. Good on you, sir. Good on you. Um, I think I still want to take this. We're back down here again, unfortunately. Without screwdriver at the moment. Try and keep our distance. I mean, to be fair, these rats I can probably use the shotgun for and be pretty safe. Yeah, oh, we've got a thingy floor here. Should be good for us. Just checking back here to see if there's a... Nah. Okay. Okay. Through to the inverted. I, I never remember how difficult this inverted area is, to be honest. I remember it being fairly difficult, just because of, like, those guys. Otherwise, not too bad. That was close. I think as long as we've got a shotgun here, we should be okay. I mean, the shotgun just absolutely destroys. 48 damage in a hit. 54. This must be something to do with scarier face amount of damage we're doing right now, right? Feels like it has to. Like, 24 there, look. Blood? We'll put, we'll put, we'll put some blood on this. Why not? Oh, hello. Getting a little bomb in there, are we? Okie dokie. Um... Tough shell, I think. Hey, I forgot this takes us to YVs. Lovely. This thing's insane for the tier it is. Like, absolutely insane. I mean, Scary Affair seems to be doing some stuff. Oh, we got Bullet Shotgun. Bullet Shotgun's like one of the best starting weapons. Good. Yeah, this, this just seems ludicrously good. <laughs> One-shotting one of those, casually. Beautiful stuff. I'm going to keep this thing for a while, I think. Um, Rage. Let's go with Rage. Why not? I've not taken Rage in a while. Okay, I'm losing on a lot of rads here by not being close to these guys. That, this, this weapon is nuts. How, how are they calling this the tier it is? What tier is it? Tier 2. This is tier 2. Mental. <laughs> this thing's fucking god tier. I mean, the blood is also helping too. I like that. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> you absolute moron, right? I just walked right into that guy because I assumed he was dead. Bullet shotguns are real goddamn good. This thing, if you get uh, the accuracy increase, is just amazing. It's not going to beat the micro shotgun, though. That thing might be one of my favorite weapons early game that I've seen thus far. Toxic crossbow. On a curse. To be fair, we can we can eat it when it's cursed. Oh, it did damage to us though. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I didn't notice that the first time around. Heal up with that bad boy. Thank you. Okay. Um. Rhino skin's probably a good shout early on. I really want eagle eyes with this thing, though. Makes it insane. Big health chest. That's nice to see. Toxic crossbow. I didn't see you there, did I? I'm sure to quickly go and kill this guy before he burrows in and kills me. Okay, not too bad. Give me another inverted area. Um, no eagle eyes as far. I, I need to make make better use of nerves of steel as well. I think nerves of steel is actually pretty good for what it is. Only costs you two HP when you've got rhino skin. That's not much. And the armor is good, and it can drop on the floor as well because armor fully negates whatever hit you take, even if you get hit by contact damage from a crystal, which would normally be an insta insta kill. And I think it's actually it's especially good when we're doing this whole double damage thing. Oh, 
triple pop gun. Ooh, yes, please. Ammo hungry, I realize, but a triple pop gun sounds pretty awesome to me. Where, where's this last enemy at? Right where I spawned, of course. Um... Absorbing pause, maybe. It doesn't have to make it hard to make it choose your, uh... Yeah, so there you go. We got hit on armor there, so... This would be good with rage for the extra fire rate bonus. Which means you're looking out for more, uh, thingy when we see it. Um... More armor. I'll grab that. Fucking crows, man. They take trigger fingers here so we can get those rapid shots when we're killing crowds. We are about to eat dirt here if I'm not careful. Yeah. I can see that one coming. Give me the ammo. Hey, back off, you guys. No space for you in this party. Unfortunately, the chance for armor to drop is pretty low. Grab that. We'll head on through. And I don't exactly know what I want to take here. Gamma goods could be good. I do want to do this, by the way, at some point. I'll, I'll, I'll try and do that this run if I can. That seems not very good. Gamma Guts there kind of saving us a little bit of damage. Gamma Guts is just like, it helps with mistakes, and I make a lot of those, so. I'm gonna miss out on some rads here just because of the way that I've handled this floor, but. Hey, we got armor back, lovely. Oh, but I forgot. When we have armor, we've got a lot less fire rate. Not having armor gives us a fire rate boost, which is another reason to take Nerves of Steel, honestly. Don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'll accept. Charge flat cannon. That sounds saucy. Give that a go. Right. Um. Yeah, let's go with rage again. I want to see what this is like—a mega charge. Pretty good. He doesn't actually use that much ammo either. Still a good amount, but nothing crazy. Like three ammo to charge it fully. No, four, I think. Four or five. But when would I ever not charge it fully? That seems like heresy. There, portal there, lovely. Okay, um, and then to offset the ammo consumption here, go with this. My goodness. There's armor down there that I missed because I killed him too early. I can actually see what this was. Was it explosive? Yes, it was explosive. Bouncer laser pistol. Yes, please. Charge flak is pretty good. But Bouncer laser pistol speaks to me. This is gross. Yeah. <laughs> with the double damage thing going on, I, I need to get rid of it earlier. I stick with it way too long. Um, still don't really get the point in the crown of the frog. What you can do with that? Let's go with the kraken again. We enjoyed that. Doubled ammo consumption, but spawn a kraken whenever we run out of ammo. Yeah, 
Little Kraken buddy. We just need weapons that we can easily run out of ammo on. This seems like one of them. Although surprisingly, it's taken a little while. Good, good. Uh, tough shell, I think. Your needle can't run out of ammo. That's no good. Get out of here. Oh, this is kind of tricky. It's sort of cooped up in here. Ooh, the Orbiter. This thing's interesting. This thing's very interesting. Okay, well, I'm immediately dead. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> I don't know how I'm alive. No! No! <laughs> okay, let's stop using this crown, because it's just getting me absolutely steamrolled right now. Although, no, I wasn't even using the double damage crown there, was I? I'm stupid. Um, I don't... I, I don't really know what... Like, there's got to be, like, a meta crown. The crown that everyone should just be using. But I don't know what it'd be. Maybe try this. Although, apparently, it didn't do anything this stage. Oh, it tells you which enemies spawn him with low HP. That's nice. Didn't lower our HP there, though. Pop gun. Yes, please. Yeah, this is just all about experimenting, I think. Left the way the golden weapons give you more. Bug bugger off. Where are you? There you are. Hold up. I'm not starting with zero HP here. With one HP here, but... The enemies do seem to be dying instantly sometimes, so... The starting with this crown bug the game. No, yeah, I'm starting with one HP, okay. I'm just stupid. There we go. As long as we can get health back quickly, it's no problem. Honestly, second stomach would be a blessing. We can get second stomach, that'd be very nice. Okay. Um, bouncy fat could also be pretty good too. Uh, second stomach, good, good. Just gotta be a little careful. And hope we get a health drop early enough to make it valuable. We're out there, ratty boys. Over here? That you are. Pop gun's still rocking it as well. I love pop gun. Unfortunately, no such hell for this floor. There you go. Finally got that. I love it. 25% chance and it's like every one in like eight enemies instead. Um, yeah, that could be good. The second something can increase my weapon eating healing as well. I think it does. Assault Slugger could be quite useful on the uh, bigger targets that we come across. The larger enemies. Problem is, I'm actually going to end up killing some enemies that are quite far away from me, like slightly unintentionally, and missing out on some reds just because they die in one hit sometimes. Taken care of. Lovely. I'm walking to a lot of shots, but it's, it's weird, you know. Walk into all these shots and not just instantly dying because I'm not taking double damage like I'm used to. We're at 1 HP again here, but we had that thing that reduced the amount of hits and gives us ammo when we take damage. Oh my god, this is kind of working out pretty well right now. 
I'm liking this crown, although it's risky. The, the, the problem is, it's one of those ones that's really good, but in the late game, it's a bit too risky, I think. Especially when you're already killing most enemies instantly anyways, on a loop sort of thing. So you can't really keep it around forever. Heavy blood weapon is, uh, is good for me. Nice. The heavy blood weapons are uh, pretty gnarly. Oh my god, we're just a, just annihilating everything here. This thing does so much damage. I think Scary Face is playing a part in that, to be honest. Lovely. Oh, lightning crossbow. I will... Take that over assault. Look at the lightning crossbow is very good. Get off me. Bye. Awesome. Okay, I'm liking how things are looking at the moment. Let's go for better eats. What are these tanks here? Disc array, so that sounds not dangerous at all. It did not give us HP, which I, I don't I don't like much. I'm gonna have to eat that to stay alive here. I just walked right into it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. We'll leave this one there for now, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.